Hello Puppet fans! And welcome to this lecture. In this lab we will configure the high availability node for Puppet Master. To configure the high availability node you must have a node of same architecture. So first we need to ensure replica and master nodes are able to reach out to each other so test it by pinging the puppet master and replica node. Also ensure that the node you're provisioning as a replica is set to use the primary master as its puppet server. So install the puppet agent on this node by using the curl command. Once the package installation is completed check the replica node certificate in Puppet Console and accept the age or replica node certificate. Run Puppet Agent T to get the catalog for the node. I have not assigned the role yet so it will give an error for role not found. So assign the role first for the replica node and run puppet agent hyphen T again. Here I will assign a base role to replica node, so go to higher data nodes repo and add role for H or replica.devops.com.yml and add rhel 7 base role entry, commit the changes. Now deploy the changes in Puppet Master. To deploy the changes run command, puppet code deploy production hyphen hyphen wait to deploy the code. Once done run puppet agent hyphen t again on replica node. This time the run will be successful and replica node will get the catalog. Provisioning a replica duplicates specific components and services from the master to the replica. Note, while completing this task, the master is unavailable to serve catalog requests. Time completing this task accordingly. Ensure that the node you're provisioning as a replica is set to use the primary master as its puppet server. Before provisioning a replica check the status of all puppet server services by running command puppet infrastructure status, this will print the services status, if all services are running in state then only go for the provision. Now to provision a replica on the primary master, as the root user, run command puppet infrastructure provision replica and your replica node name. OK. So we got the orchestrator view error as we do not have any user assigned to orchestrator role. To assign a role, go to Puppet Console and create a user role as orchestrator underscore role and assign SA underscore puppet user to orchestrator underscore role. Now add permissions as add puppet agent to run puppet on agent nodes. Next add nodes, to view nodes data from puppet db. Next add job orchestrator, to start, stop, view jobs. After that commit changes and run puppet agent hyphen t on master node to reflect these changes. Ok, so we have assigned the orchestrator permissions. So rerun the command, puppet infrastructure provision replica and the replica host name. This process can take time from several minutes to hours. 
You can view the job status by running the command puppet job show in the job ID showing in console. First it will run the process on Puppet Master and then on Puppet Agent to get it synced. With different job bids you can check the status of the jobs on Puppet Master until the process is completed. You can check the process logs by running the command as tail f slash var slash log slash message. Till the installation is going on you can review what gets installed during replication process. OK, so the second process has been started for replica node and for the status you can run command puppet job show with job. And you can also monitor it by checking the replica node logs messages. Once the process completed on Replica Node a third process will start on Puppet Master to complete the replication process. Wait for the replication process to complete. Once the replication process is completed you will get a message. Overall job status finished, a primary master replica has been provisioned and services are syncing. If you have a large puppet instance, consult the puppet documentation to learn approach for speeding up the process. To speed the, the process you can manually copy the puppet DB database on replica node and process is given on puppet website. To check for replication status run command puppet infrastructure status hyphen hyphen host and your replica host name. Once the sync is complete, enter puppet infrastructure enable replica and your replica node name on the primary master. So that it will be ready to handle a failover from the primary master. If you run this command before the primary master replica has fully synchronized. The replica will not have all the necessary information to replace the primary master during a failover. To check for replication status run command puppet infrastructure status hyphen hyphen host and your replica host name. And the status must show all services in running status on replica node. OK. So all the services are running on replica node like file sync client service. Puppet Server, Classifier, Reback, Activity Service, and Puppet DB. Also check the status on Master Node by running Command Puppet Infrastructure Status which in result must show all services running on Puppet Master and Replica Node. OK, so we see all services are running on Master and Replica Node but not all services will be present on Replica Node as Replica Node has its pwn limitation which we will cover in end of this lecture. Now enable the Replica by running command puppet infrastructure enable Replica and your Replica Node name on the primary master, so that it will be ready to handle a failover from the primary master. Describe your the P setup like monolithic with single master or monolithic with compile master. Here I am using monolithic installation so choose option A and review the changes in next screen. If you are ok with master and replica descriptions press yes to, to choose the new configuration and to enable primary master replica. Wait for the process to complete. And you can check the status of running job by using command puppet job show in the job ID.
and you can check the status of running job by using command puppet job show in the job ID. Wait for the process to complete. You can also check the slash var slash log slash messages file to know what's going inside this process. Okay, so we got new job ID here as new job is configuring replica to enable high availability. Same way you can monitor the slash var slash log slash messages file to know the replication process is running in replica node. Once the replication will be completed you will get a message like your replica node has been enabled for your Puppet Enterprise infrastructure, agent configuration is managed by Puppet, and will be updated the next time each agent runs to enable replica failover. Ok, so in this lab we have configured the high availability replica node, in next lecture we will test the replica. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.